One of the most common styles of traps we use for monitoring a lot of different pests, whether it's in an orchard or in some vegetables, is a delta trap, a sticky delta trap. So when these come brand new, they're a flat piece, somewhat like this. You just have to bend them into position, add the lure, add a hanging piece, and you're ready to go. So they are relatively easy, um, but you do have to deal with the sticky stuff. So their downside is that, you know, your hands can get sticky, and sticky is sort of a nuisance. But you simply bend the, these pieces come with clearly marked spots where you bend them. So you bend that one piece, you bend this piece, and then there's a little ridge line there that you bend. And then they have two sets of holes. So you simply insert your hanger through the two sets of holes. It should be simple um, if the wire is straight. Um, and that's all there is to that part. Um, then to catch the insects, uh, we need a sticky panel. Um, with this particular trap, the panels came folded in half and you just unfold them. For some brands, they come with two sticky panels stuck to each other and you have to peel the two apart. So you simply unfold it and then insert it into the bottom of the delta trap. And then you flip up the, the two end pieces to hold that in place. So now it's all set except for the lure. So now, of course, it will not work at all unless you have the attractant in there, the pheromone lure. So there are two different styles of lures. One common style is this one. It, um, it's called a rubber septum. It looks a lot like a pencil eraser. So you have two basic options. One is to simply stick it in the middle of the sticky panel. And then, again, you stick it in, you're ready to go. Uh, the only disadvantage of that, whenever you replace with a fresh panel, you have to pick up the lure from the old panel and put it on the new panel. So the other option, it's a little more trouble at the beginning, but then it saves you time later on. You can use some kind of device like this little plastic strip that they, some of the companies sell with the traps, where you just impale the little hole in the top of the strip onto the wire hanger inside, and then you stick your lure through that hole. The advantage of that, when you change the panel different weeks, you don't have to handle the lure at all until the, the lure is due to be changed. So I will try and do that. I'm just going to take the lure out of the goo and stick it in to that hole. Uh, here I'm trying not to touch the lure with my fingers because I don't want my fingers to smell um, like the attractant. So here I'm just put the wire through one set of holes, then I'm putting it through that little plastic strip, and then back through Come on. through the other set of holes okay so now you can see the lure is just hanging down in the middle of the trap then when I put the panel in the lure is not actually touching the panel um, but it is there and the moths fly in and get stuck so there it is you're ready to go you just have to be careful try not to touch the sticky because it's very hard to get off your hands once it's on there the other thing I'll mention is there is another style of lure. Some of the companies sell the lure in a flat piece like this that has a sticky backing. So again, there are two choices of how you use that in this trap. Probably the best way is to peel off the sticky backing and attach the lure to the, one of the upper pieces of the delta trap. Then again, you don't have to touch it until uh, the lure is ready to be changed. The other option, you can put it down in the sticky panel, but again, then you have to handle it every time if you're going to change the panel. So those are your options. Um, it is a pretty versatile way to monitor pests. You do need a supply of the sticky panels every year. Um, the trap itself, often they're pretty beat up by the end of a year, but occasionally we can use them for more than one year. That's all there is to it. In a later video, we'll add a few more details about the specifications of the, the type of trap to get where you can get them and roughly how much they cost.